Alright, so now you see this room here. It's leaking very badly. You see I laid out the buckets before. I couldn't get up here to empty them the last time. I asked the guys to do them. They, after about two months, they finally got up here to dump them. But they didn't put the buckets back where they belonged. And now, um, now it's, it's leaking so bad that it's starting to flood out the room. We'll go downstairs to the second floor the room next to the classroom. That roof is about ready to give in. And this is the reason why. It could be stopped and saved, but these don't take care of the building here. All they gotta do is empty the buckets and realign them. Right now, I could realign them, but what's the use? They're just gonna fill up and overflow anyways. Pisses me off. Well, here's a new leak. Coming straight down the landing. If it gets cold enough, that lights up. It won't get that cold in here, but still. It's leaking right here on the landing going up to the fourth floor. Let's see how many leaks and what's happening on the fourth. Uh, let's check out this. Um, again, buckets are overflowing. It's leaking like a sieve. There's a hole that if it was light enough, you'd be able to see through the roof right there. You'd think that would be a, a uh, obvious place to start patching. And it's accessible. It's right there. You can get it with a ladder. It's right there. You can get it with a ladder. Why is this continuing? I don't know. Maybe they were told to just let it fucking go. I don't know. This pisses me off. Okay, coming down the... Uh, third floor, uh, fourth floor to the third floor down the staircase. You can see here where uh, we've taken in water for the last two years. And just in two years, the damage it's done here. Last year I had to come in and scrape up and, and I shoveled up all the ceiling tile. I watch it very carefully um, and chip away the bigger chunks so in case it decides while somebody's doing an investigation here, to give way, then I try to take out as many hazards as I can and then clean up the mess. But again, guys, I, I don't know how much longer I can do that kind of work. Um, I don't get paid. I'm a volunteer. It just breaks my heart that, that this is all happening. Oh, this isn't good news. I can see water out on the floor already. Haven't even entered this room yet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a new leak, hadn't seen that one before. Definitely uh, dripping everywhere in here, ridiculous. It's like, why guys? So they'll, they'll fill up and they'll overflow right there. Okay, then if that one's leaking, then I'm sure this one is down here. Yeah, you can see that the floors, or the, this just happened last year. The ceiling caved in, that's that third floor room above it that has the uh, little pond built. But it's leaking. Um, nothing in here yet, but it will. It's coming. Down here is another room that was leaking not too far from my command center. Uh, that's not too bad. Doesn't look like any fresh leak, but you can see where it went out to the um, carpet here. All right, so it's not leaking here yet, but it will when it starts melting. That's probably what the problem is. It's, it's just froze up yet, but it'll, it'll, it'll definitely flood. I'm on the second floor and you can see the water starting to seep out into the hallway here, but let me show you what's happening. Currently in the classroom, I have moved some of the desk around and whatnot, but we now have water starting to break through on the 
ceiling here in the classroom, you can see the damage that's taking place. And there is standing water there. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. So I have moved some of the desk and stuff out of the way. Um, you can see that some of the books and stuff have gotten wet and some water on them. I moved out one of the exhibits next door because it was soaking up the board. I'm going to take out uh, some of those old photographs and pages and stuff. So I moved them out of the way. But you can see that the uh, classroom here is just um, soaked down. You can see the water damage. It's running down the walls. It's coming through the ceiling. It's just a matter of time before this ceiling caves in, I'm sure. You can see it here. It's just, there's an inch of standing water over as it rolls down to that end of the, the room here. Um, just breaks my heart. So that's the current state of the classroom here at the Abbey. And I'll show you as I go along some more damage. It's sad, guys. Standing out here in the hallway, you can see, you can see the water in the exhibit room next to the classroom here. But then also you see the standing water here in the classroom next to it. This is new here. This wasn't, during the winter, it, it, this room held its own, but now obviously it's taking on water. Um, and then if you look, this is some of the damage to this room in the years past. It's currently, it looks like there's a little moisture on the floor, but it's not leaking too bad in, in comparison to everything else. So, um, yeah, and then of course, the water damage is leaking all the way out to the floor. I can't do anything. I'm telling you right now, the smell is just horrible up here. And I probably would be better not to be in this, but I just wanted to kind of document this. Um, there's not much they can do at this point. The only thing that's gonna save this building is a new roof. Again, water on the floor. This is what's gonna to happen to that classroom is eventually it'll start as a small hole and Sooner or later, it will consume the whole, the whole room. This room hasn't been hit yet. Looks like it's gonna happen up there on the ceiling, it's starting, but it hasn't been hit yet. So go down the hall. Okay, last year, this room was leaking like a sieve. They did get up there and managed to um, do a little bit of mitigation with some tar, and it looks like they were able to stop this leak somehow. I can see it's wet right up there in that little patch where the cross is made, oddly enough. Um, but you can see that this room really took a beating last year and the years before. And of course, out here on the carpet, you could see the stain on the carpet still as to where it drained into the hallway. And I, I kept that room pretty clear uh, and cleaned out last year, but um, yeah, it just continues. It gets worse and worse. So I'll show you the next room when I get to it. Okay, now I'm in the uh, little room, which used to be the old study hall here. And I'm trying to uh, create a paranormal museum and artifacts up here. And we kind of got a start on it. It's not near completed yet, but uh, we have the leak going here now. And you can see that it's draining here on the carpet as on the doorway coming through. Um, this is an older leak. It is, uh, I, I will say it's better than last year. So apparently some of the mitigation um, that they were able to put into it from last summer is helping a little bit as is it right over here the doorway to the bell tower um, but you can see here um, again it's leaking to a, a point where it's flooding down here on the carpet again again the bell towers uh, the clock tower and everything is right here let me 
There's some water dripping in there right now. So we got a little bit of water coming in still. The part that makes me really sad is it's taken over now. I'm in the chapel. Um, you can see here that it's leaking very badly here in the chapel here. Then you look across the way here and you see that over there. The problem with that one over there is it's right on top of the organ down there. And so you can see all that water that's collecting around the organ down there and on the organ. So I'm gonna see if I can't find a way to get that covered. Then if we look down here, we can see the, see the same water damage taking place over here. Makes me very sad. Such a beautiful building. Okay, this is the uh, doorway into the uh, the monk's rec room, and you can see that it's just pouring down this wall here as well from a leak up here. Coming down the walls and whatnot. Um, again, nothing seems to be exempt. The water's in the building, and there's not a whole lot anybody can do about it at this point other than we gotta do something with this roof. Okay, now I'm up on the third floor. This is the third floor bathroom. All I've ever asked them to do is empty the buckets and we could stop a lot of this water that is getting into the chapel and whatnot. But as you can see here, the buckets are full. And you can see how fast it's dripping. I can't drip, I, I can't uh, empty these buckets anymore because of issues I have with my lungs and whatnot. So you see that the water just collects on the floor and eventually runs down the side of the walls and gets downstairs. So we'll go down a little further down the uh, hallway here we see more more going on here um, it's getting worse guys and whatever uh, you know whatever help I get I, I appreciate it and it, it definitely helps to keep that water from getting down to the other floors I just can't do it any longer um, this seems to be a new one here and I'll try to get a bucket underneath it at least and get get that repaired. I mean, at least get the, the water stopped because this is right over the bedrooms downstairs that we've created across from the command center. So I'll find some buckets for this. So these are an idea that uh, Bernie had created to trap some of the water from getting down to the to the lower floors. Um, you can see that we are taking on water even in this room still. And that, but the dam is working to the, to a point. Um, as we we're, I was discussing with Bernie and Sonny the other day, the problem is, is when he puts down the plastic, then we have the ceiling cave in and it pokes holes in the plastic and the, and then the, the water continues to leak down to the lower floors. So he has to kind of lay down plywood or something to take the impact when the roof caves in. But, uh, you can see the damage that is taking place. And this is an older leak. You know, this has been years worth of the leak. This is the room right beside it. And as you can see, it's basically dry. So they're, again, I think some of the mitigation that they were able to, to do last summer, they may have gotten some of the patches and was able to stop some of this leak. And what, what it seems to be, what creates the leaks is on the fourth floor, the rooms have little balconies 
and the water builds up on those balconies and then gets in through the edge of the, the roof via the balconies and then they run down the walls which becomes the third floor and then gathers and pools in the ceilings and then we have the massive flooding when the ceilings start to cave in and I think that's what's creating the the problem go to the room right next door we've had some water damage but again I think this is part of that room next to it and mitigation has worked Here's another room where he's built another dam. This is an active leak. It's still leaking as you can see the drips and the water coming in still. Um, it is what it is. Uh, until we get that new roof, it's going to continue like this. And, you know, the, the, the roof is uncertain how it, it has to be done right away. And whether it's the current owners or the new owners or whatever, um, this needs to be a priority if we're going to save this building. And maybe you can even hear the water dripping, I don't know. Okay, again, as you can see, I placed buckets all over the place here to try and stop this. This is the worst room of them all. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the 13 buckets that are in here are overflowing because it's leaking that bad and continuing to leak onto the floor. And if we look out here, you can see it's leaked out onto the carpet. So we, this is the one that's over the classroom and over the, uh, the um, kind of exhibit room next, next to the classroom. And that's why we're starting to have water down there. I've done my part. Even right now, if, they, if they'd if they empty the buckets, uh, they could stop a lot of this water. From this point, I can't do it, and I'm not gonna do it. So the little balconies that I was referring to down below, you can see one out here, and you can see that they collect the snow and the rain and whatnot, and then it gets in between the walls and leaks down to the lower floors. <clears throat> Here is a uh, an issue that could be resolved and has, I've asked to be resolved. <laughs> um, this door was opened up, it shouldn't be opened. The stairs are rotted out, the floor is rotted out, and I don't want anybody up there getting hurt. <clears throat> However, somebody opened up that door by taking out the taking out the hinges in the door, popped the door open. Now they couldn't close it because there was so much bird poop in there. Right here, you can see it. So much bird poop in there that when they opened up the door, it blocked it so they can't close the door. So it needs to be scooped out, shoveled out, and uh, and cleaned up so that they can get this door shut again. Uh, because it is a not only a health hazard but uh, a safety hazard. Well, I can't empty the buckets, but I found a couple more. If I start building a pyramid, <laughs> maybe somebody will catch the hint to empty the fucking buckets. I don't know. Anyways, this is a mess. You know, in order to clean up the water on the second floor, actually take the water off the first floor, you gotta stop and start at the top, being the third floor here, then go to the second floor, then clean up the mess on the first floor. Because the water is going down. 
As long as you clean up the second floor, and this is still up here happening on the third floor, you're wasting your time. Plus, you're just, you're, you're not doing anything to stop the damage. Um, just my opinion, but who am I, right? I stand out here in the hall and it's like a uh, drum roll. <laughs> all the all the water hitting the uh, the buckets. The new buckets are laid down. Well with that guys, I think I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna head on outside. I've done all I can do in here. I'm exhausted. Been in here a couple hours and I shouldn't even be in this mess. Um, I think I'm down in here for today. Just, uh, I hate seeing this. I, I want to be fair. And you can't blame, um, blame it all totally on maintenance because the owners haven't been able to, or haven't refused to. How about that? How about, they've refused to put more money into the building and to put money into the roof. And the band-aid fixes aren't cutting it. They aren't working anymore. It's gone way beyond the band-aid. They need a roof and they have to put money into that. Make it the priority or this building is not gonna make it another 10 years, let alone another 100 years. Um, we also need a staff that will take care of the issues, that will address it and from a logical standpoint like I say start emptying the buckets on your on the upper floors before you start working on the second floor you know already he's been down here I know he's been down here uh, let's see he's emptied I don't know that he's emptied any buckets but he tried to vacuum some of the stuff up I can see a few spots where he might have vacuumed up um, but this is all going down to the first floor now because I'm on the second floor. It's, uh, you know, and had, I saw, personally saw 12 to 15 five gallon buckets of sealant that was brought in last spring to seal up the roof. And I only ever saw three of those buckets get used for sealing the roof. Had it been done during the spring and into the early summer, we wouldn't have near the problem that we have right now. But it didn't get done. It didn't get done. Then it ran into, a, oh, it's too hot. We can't be working on the roof right now. And things, other things come up and it was more of a major priority and jobs that were easier to do than to hang out on a hot roof and put down tar, but that's what needed to be done. That's what makes the Abbey is having this monastery here, in my opinion. So it should be job one. But again, that's my opinion. Um, and so I do kind of place that, that back onto maintenance for their prioritizing. This is the building, guys. This is why everybody comes, the Holy Cross Abbey is now that it's desanctified, they come to see the monastery. And they have no idea that this is happening. And it's, it's a... almost comedic, the amount of management errors that are taking place here from a general manager that hasn't been on site since 2018 and the management group that they have taking care of the building now. Um, comedy of errors. Meanwhile, you know, this is kind of stuff I'm doing. I'm fixing up room. I'm bringing in, in income for our, our guests to come in and do paranormal investigations. My door's not open right now, but um, you guys have all seen my command center. And I'm doing my best to raise funds to help mitigate and, and go towards restoration and whatnot. None of that money is going there. 
And so we end up with this. And it continues to get worse and worse and worse. Bells are going off. You guys can hear it or not. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how easy it is to stop this from leaking all the way down to the other floors. It's as simple as just dumping the buckets. I've got pulmonary fibrosis. I'm on my second pacemaker. I have degenerative heart failure. And right now my optimal level is at 85. I can't stand this anymore. Everybody's sitting downstairs. Everybody's been sitting downstairs. They've had Six days now to empty these buckets. They are getting done in this book. Building's getting moved. So I'm going to start emptying buckets. It's as easy as this, guys.
half the job, but they're over overflowing, as you can see. It makes them a lot heavier. So there's 15 buckets, five gallon buckets. And um, 13 of them are completely overflowing. So what is that? 100, 500, 515 gallons of water I'm saved from going down to the second floor and then ultimately down to the first floor by just having these buckets. The damage we would be having on the second floor would not be near as severe if these buckets just got emptied. Why well, wasn't this done a couple of days ago? We saw an old man with a heart condition with 30% of lung capacity needing all these buckets and it took me maybe 15 minutes, I don't know. Um, because nobody would do it. More damage here in the uh, chapel. I'm gonna run down and see what's happening with the organ. I'll go in and uh, see if I can find at least some plastic bags or some kind of plastic to throw over the top of this. See all that water around the, the organ there. Doesn't seem to be dripping on the organ. There we got a <laughs> we got a nice electrical outlet sitting in the pool of water there. I think I'll try to unplug that. Went all the way under the pews. Again, no place to put a bucket, it's all coming in through the walls and then seeping out down on the ground. Not much you can do about that without patching the hole up above. Same thing with this one over here. You see it's, it's starting to extend right there. That's new. Um, it must be pooling a little bit there, but it's definitely coming down there. This has been going on for a couple of years, this one here. Same with uh, this one here. So Bernie did work on it a little bit last year and try to try to get it slowed down. But again, the only answer is a brand new roof and done right. And then there's going to be just as much money have to be spent probably on each floor now because the water damage has gone all the way from the the fourth floor down to the first floor and even into the basement in some places. So now what could have just been for the cost of a roof is going to be three or four times that money to fix the damage because they didn't replace the roof.
Okay, at least the organs protect them a little more now. That's a good thing. That'll at least keep the stuff from landing on top of it, creating a bigger mess. So, all right. Okay, so now the leaks down here should slow down considerably because I have most of that water dumped. Once it drains off, it should start drying up this room. I'm gonna go ahead and open open some windows and try to get some air coming through here. Okay guys, this is day number seven. It definitely, definitely smells a lot better in the building. Um, it's still, I don't know, musty smelling. But if you look here, um, the water is pretty much dried up in here in the classroom. It's, it's not completely. But at least it's in the drying stage. See here that the chairs have dried up. We'll go check the room next door. It does stink in there though. Pew -wee. Okay, we're not on the carpet anymore. Uh, it looks like the carpets are starting to dry out. That's good. And he's got fans going. This little puddle has dried up here. Look at this room, guys. Look at this room. It's drying up pretty nicely. And of course, you know, the snow is all melted now, so that makes a big difference too. But emptying those buckets really helped. Alright. I'm not gonna go to the other rooms. Let's go up to the uh, third floor. The floor is dried out, that's good. That's good. Um, the room with the buckets, look at this guys, still, still has water in it, but we do have dry floors now, kind of, with buckets, are working, still catching a lot of the leaks, looks like if I put this bucket maybe over here, See, they're filling up again. This one's still going pretty well. Several of them here. We got the window open there. You can see that it's, it's not stopping the water, but it's catching the water. A lot of it. So, a lot better. At least it's not making it 
downstairs any longer, which is a good thing. Uh, just curious. Okay, that's full of water. I was thinking if it wasn't full, I'd go ahead and try to vacuum up what remaining water is there. Just to try to get the bulk, bulk of the pool. But yeah, so getting those buckets empty yesterday helped a lot. There we, there we go. And like I say, it smells a whole lot. Overall, the building smells a whole lot. Okay, I'm in the library now. I was just told that the ceiling was caving in above the, and I could see there was a big chunk getting ready to come down. Uh, at any rate, that the water was coming down onto the uh, Dewey Decimal System down here in the library. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, uh, I've already taken a lot of the plaster off of there, and I thought I would video it. Um, but I'm going to cover it in the, the plastic like I did the organ. And hopefully that will protect it, uh, A, from the falling debris, and B, from it uh, dripping down here if it gets to raining again or, or snowing or whatever. Without question, the water has stopped now. And all you had to do was empty those buckets upstairs. But you'll hear more of that rant later. Yeah, just so you could see, the, the water did get on the top of this um, cabinet. And it's dried up now. It's kind of damp, but it, it's pretty much dried up. But you can see that it warped it, and, and the stuff is kind of peeling apart. So I'll get it covered and protect it. Um, but I can't do anything about that. But I can protect the top, which I've done. So at least it's covered. <clears throat> All right, it's an effort. It's an effort, guys. All right, guys, I'm about done in here. Uh, done all I can do. It's uh, Sunday now. This would be the uh, eighth day after everything. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with... Uh, everything of course the snow is all melted now so that's taken a lot of the drama out of the situation but all the same i did get the uh let me switch it here get the classroom cleaned up i reswept it got the buckets laid out and i went upstairs and emptied all the buckets there this is all dried up now and cleaned up. Um, classroom it smells pretty bad i don't know why but it's got a strange funk to it. Downstairs is uh, dried out. It's still a big mess down there. You can see where the water was in the classroom. And like I say, it does stink in this room for some reason. At any rate, I'll get that cleaned up this time, this week and try to get the desks set back where they belong. Uh, but at any rate, the water stopped. Third floor, I cleaned it up and I'll you probably saw in the video just before this, I'll try to clip it and add it in there so that you can see what the upstairs looks like and what I've, what I've done. The whole thing is, is everything, had those buckets been emptied on that third floor from the start of all this, we could have saved a lot of the damage down here on the second. And definitely it would have never made it to the third. Um, and that makes me sad because it was just, there's there's no rhyme or reason. It took me, you guys saw in the video, took me 20 minutes to, to empty it. A young man could have did it in five or 10 minutes and uh, stopped all this. So it was senseless. All the damage was done, but now it's drying up and we'll get ready for the next round. We're supposed to get a lot of rain this week. In fact, it's in, in the forecast, so we're going to get some rain and snow tonight. We'll see. I don't 
generally we don't get a lot of snow here in Canyon City. The higher elevations do, but we really don't. And so I don't anticipate a lot, but now I'm probably going to be a little over protective and just when I know the weather's coming in I'll try to get up here and empty the buckets and stuff because nobody else is going to do it I'll try and, and uh, get the, the buckets emptied and, and at least do that so that I know it's being taken care of but that guys that's kind of that's kind of the, the deal um, if, if you guys appreciate what I'm doing why well, you can show me by maybe subscribing to my channel it's the uh, what's up gramps on youtube so it's youtube slash what's up gramps or you can come to twitch.com slash what's up gramps and if you guys would like and subscribe to my channels and just kind of follow what i'm doing it's not always in the abbey i do prospecting i do traveling uh, roadside adventures abandoned um, exploration when i get the chance a lot of different things i'm kind of a variety streamer and uh, would appreciate you guys following me around. With that, guys, uh, thanks for watching and, and all my Twitch followers and everything. Thank you so much for your support. You've made a huge difference within the monastery here. And you make everything possible to get the internet in here and, and all your monies go back into the, to the stream and the, and the monastery. So I appreciate that. The Abbey appreciates that. With that, guys, that's going to end this video. And as always, I'll see you guys when I see you.